Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. I had a great vacation, thank you for asking. Feeling much more rested, calm, focused, energetic, I'm in a better mood. Highly recommend vacation, it was nice. But we're back, and the first order of business is actually a fairly rushed job. It's for family. So um, this weekend I'm going to Charlotte to hang out with family, kind of a celebration of my late uncle's life. And so I'm building a console for his wife, my aunt, for her house. Something she needs behind her couch. And a console, if you don't know, is like a really long, uh, skinny table. Could be in a hallway or, you know, usually at behind at the back of a couch, you know, that thing you reach behind and put the remote on or your drinks or whatever. Uh, and I've got some cool wooden tops to work with that dad built over at Black Dog. And I'm being tasked with the metal base. So it's gonna be pretty simple, but I'm hoping to personalize it a little bit and make it special. It is Wednesday at two and I'm leaving uh, Friday morning. So I've got time, simple fab, some squares, maybe a few CNC plasma cut goodies, weld it all up, paint it black probably, and then install these wooden tops. Let me show you the wood we get to work with in this episode. You're not wood. Hi, May, how are you? Say hi to the people. This is May. May, this is YouTube. It's great to meet you. But these are some beautiful walnut uh, slabs that dad prepared over at Black Dog Salvage here in town. So this big one here is the top and the smaller one is gonna be the shelf. This is like inch and a quarter solid walnut slabs with some live edge. You can see this white, the lighter colored band, that's the sap wood, the bark would have been right on top of that. Looks like dad did some, uh, some bow ties to keep this crack from growing. Pretty classic woodworking technique there. There's another one over here, cute little tiny bow tie. So that's about the size we're working with. It's like almost eight feet long this way and about 16, well, 14 inches that way. So again, this will sit on top and then this will sit in between the legs down low as like a floor shelf. Let me show you my plans. So this is what dad drew a while ago. It's just a concept sketch, but you know, wooden top, uh, shelf below, whole thing's gonna be 30 inches by, well my frame will be seven foot eight. And we'll do basically rectangular legs that'll be screwed into the top, probably an inverted angle iron frame up top, and then some more angle iron down low to give us a place to screw in not only the top, but the shelf. So pretty simple. This was what the tops were gonna be, but I have the actual things to measure, so that's good. So uh, my goal is to build this with whatever material I've got laying around and not have to order anything new. So I wanna go over to the, the shelf here and see what we got. We need some angle iron and we need some tubing. So I think I've got a little of each. It'd be great if I could use this. This is some inch and a half square tubing. I might have some two inch somewhere and I have a lot of angle. I actually have a, a ton of this, uh, I think it's like inch and a quarter angle, which was uh, uh, over ordered from a job I did a while ago. So that'll be the top frame and the bottom frame. And then I'll take some measurements, but I should be able to use that inch and a half uh, square there to make the legs. And then what I'm hoping to do is if this cart, right, if this cart was the frame, if the legs look like that, I'm hoping to cut out a design into some in some sheet metal on the shop saber over there that will fill in some space between the legs and add a little something, something. Oh, I also have this whole stick of two inch laying on the floor, so I could use that too, although that might be a little overkill. And of course, stuff back on that rack. I'm gonna sit down, go over, measure my tops, get official measurements on those, get a cut list, make a sketch, and then go from there. Uh, yeah. Uh, one more thing, some housekeeping things. Uh, this month, the month of October, 2022, uh, I am partnering with my dear friend Grayson uh, for a local charity, CHIP, the Child Health Investment Partnership. It's a great nonprofit here in town that helps kids uh, get ready to enter the education system and uh, help meet families where they are if they're low income or you know underserved or just falling on bad luck. 
they help new parents and, and new families establish themselves and, and get navigate the complicated medical system and whatnot. It's a great organization and uh, we are trying to raise money, a measly $2,000 this month between Grayson and I. So uh, as if you love what I do here for you, uh, one big way you could help us out this month is to go donate to our Grayson and I's uh, Heads Up campaign for the charity right here, this link. Go here, whether you donate $5 or $500, everything is super appreciated. Thank you so much, not only for supporting this channel, supporting me, supporting Lift Arc, but supporting uh, the causes that we're trying to raise awareness for. So thanks to that. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. I think I got everything I need. We're gonna do 28 and a half inch tall base so that when you add the inch and a half top, we land right at 30 inches. It's gonna be 12 inches deep because this is 14 at its narrowest. And that way we have at minimum a two inch overhang on the front and the sides. And then basically how I'm gonna do this. This is, this is sort of some uh, fabrication 101 here. This is this type of thing that I started doing uh, one of the first types of projects that I was put on at Black Dog when I started was basically making rectangles in, in the quest of making table bases or any types of furniture. So angle iron is really useful for a top structure that can lend some rigidity, but also allow you a flange that you can drill holes in to mount a top to. So we'll build basically an inverted angle iron frame like that to go around the outside and then we'll screw up through the top flange to attach the top to that. And then we'll do a version of the same thing down low to hold the shelf. And then the legs themselves will just be two. And so I'll just build this as I go. This is pretty easy. So we'll make the angle iron top 94 by 12. We'll set that upside down on the table and we'll build the whole thing upside down like an upside down cake. So I'll weld the legs to that sticking up and then we'll flip it and we'll have basically a top. Uh, I did the same thing real quick for Travis's forge stand when we built that forge. It's gonna be the same, almost the same exact method. And then I'll build a structure down low once it's right side up for the shelf. We'll test fit some things and then I'll cut some panels out to decorate the sides and the gaps in between the legs. And then we'll clean it, we'll paint it black and we'll screw some wood to it. Let's get to building. That's enough thinking and talking. How about that? This piece is a little bent, so I need to make sure that I've got enough straight to build it. That was the perfect reuse of some scrap material because as you can see, the rest of this is pretty bent. So it was just the perfect amount. What Tage is built, guys? I made a dog. <laughs> Not just any dog, a Steli. Steli. Oh, her tail's tucked between her legs. Oh, you scared? She's missing a patch on her tail. I know, she had a hot spot. Uh, Are you scared? Yeah, she's don't nervous. Be I'm not gonna weld on you. <laughs> Stella, look, it's 94. That's what it's supposed to be. You're a terrible quality control <laughs> yeah. system. 
I'll she's like it. happy and nervous at the same time. I know, she thinks she's at the vet. Come here. Oh yeah, that Come makes here. sense. Oh. Oh, immediate relief. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Mei is like, my turn, my, my turn. Be uppy, be uppy. You want to go on table? Yeah. You don't mind the table at all. No. Uh, it's like, as long as it gets me closer to you. Yes. Bye. Hello. Back at it again, day two, let's finish this thing up. So, to install the legs here, I am notching them around the angle. You can kind of see how I did that. So, I set the tube in here, like so, and I draw a line around it. And then, so when I come out here, I cut here, or cut here, and then I cut a little onto the next corner. And that allows me to notch it around like this. And then we weld it and we're all good. And I'll probably grind that down. I'll probably MIG weld in here because it's easier to get interior corners with a MIG welder. So we're just gonna do that three more times and then we'll have our top with our four legs and I'll be able to flip this thing right side up, take a look at it and go from there, figure out how we wanna connect the legs and how to mount the bottom shelf. Probably just more angle because I've got plenty of that. Yas, let's do it. Okay, so I'll be brief, but this is my thought process. So I'm just, everything's mocked up right now. I'm not sure why there's a big gap right here. Maybe the board's not square. Maybe my cut wasn't square. But uh, I like that the board sits in the angle like that because then it's actually the same thickness and from the outside you see metal and on the inside you see wood. I like that. It also helps cover up the end that I just cut off so I don't have to re-clear that. And I think what I'm gonna do is just cut this back so that it doesn't stick out like that. And probably put the shelf, like I'll push this as far back as possible, like that, so where it's just welded on the corner and then cut this angle back to here. So that way the shelf can be pushed back as far as it can. And you just have this real clean, like wood, floating wood into metal look instead of some, you know, if I welded this angle all the way to here, it would be protruding and look weird. So I'm gonna try to hide as much as I can I like that look. I might even cut some of this back here, like at an angle, just to get rid of this shiny part from the front. But I like the look. I like how the middle of the bottom shelf is wider, so you got all this stuff here, but I do wanna push it back to where it's not sticking out too much past the top, you know? You don't wanna get a false sense of security by the top and then hit your ankle on something like this, so push it back. But always love the combination of wood and metal, dig it. Nothing's fully welded right now. I just wanted to mock everything up. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do these and then I'll probably do a piece along the back because I wanna do something to tie in both sides 
to sort of strengthen it up a little bit you know, get rid of some of this springiness. But I dig it. I wanted to put these on there just to see how we're doing. I don't think I gave myself quite two inches of overhang on the top. I think I'm gonna be lucky to have an inch. Oh, I didn't double it, that's what happened. I shrunk the length by two inches. I should have shrunk the length by four inches because there's two inches on either side of overhang. So I've only got one inch of overhang on the top, two inches on the front, thereabouts. That's okay. All right. I'm gonna cut these down, I'm gonna pre-drill them, I'm gonna weld them on, and then I'm gonna do the same at the back. Status report. As always, I'm fighting a little bit of like perfectionism and indecision. I'm trying to figure out how to attach this bottom shelf. I think I'm just gonna be okay with it being attached on the side and the shelf itself. But I like the look. This is the back, it'll be up against the couch so you won't see it, but I like the look of like the floating wood. Here you see the angle that the, the wood is sat in. And I like that, because this is about the right height. So that just kind of worked out. And this piece is pretty flat. Not a whole lot of work. The top, as you guys saw already, goes here. I'll drill holes through here and I just welded this piece on for some middle support. I think that'll do it. I think I'm gonna quit overthinking it and realize that I gotta be done with this in two hours and just say, that's good. So I'm gonna fully weld everything up, drill all my holes, and then I'm gonna design some panels to go on the side that I'll cut out on the plasma cutter tree. There's a cool tree motif that um, my cousin and aunt have drawn for my other cousin that we lost a while ago. It's sort of his symbol, and I think it would mean a lot to her. So I got a picture, my cousin has it on her tattoo, and I took a picture of it, and I'm gonna try to digitize it, and uh, I might need Walker's help, <laughs> um, and put that into a piece of metal that I weld into the sides, because my aunt was like, I want you to personalize, I want you to put your touch on it. And I'm like, what is my touch? <laughs> what is the thing that I do? <laughs> oh right, steel art and print it on a CNC plasma cutter. <laughs> Maybe you could tell me what I'm good at because I can't think of it right now. Well, here, here's the thing. I don't think, I can't think of anything that you're bad at. Hell yeah. So I'll spin it that way Hell for yeah. you. Taking compliments. Yeah. <laughs> Dad did a killer job on these shelves. This is a uh, live edge. This is something we don't talk about much. Mm -hmm. This is a walnut. Everyone hears live edge slabs. What is a live edge slab? Well, it's this. This is the actual outside of the tree. Shortly past this light colored layer would have been the tree bark. So live edge means exactly this. Not live, cut, you know, cut edge, uh, live edge. It's almost like the tree itself was, was standing Correct. One of these directions. This is one, if you pictured the tree, you know how you look at the end of a thing and you see the rings? Oh, the rings. Mm -hmm. This was a pine tree, probably about this big, mm -hmm. that we harvested and cut down. So when you slice a tree into Vertically. slabs like this, that's what you'll see. So that'll get, that's the bottom shelf. I'm trying to keep it from sticking out too far. Might even go back a bit more. Probably enough talking. I'm gonna get to welding. Do it. All right, so Walker's in the office working on the graphic. And now I'm gonna figure out the space I wanna fill. So I think I'm gonna put it in here. So basically nine, nine will fit almost perfect. So nine by, nine by 20 is my space. I don't wanna occupy the whole thing and block it off. You know, nine by, 15 maybe, nine, 16 by nine. Yeah, let's do In the honor of the golden resolution, let's do 16 by nine. And so either I'll do a panel with the tree cut out in the negative or a positive tree that floats. A positive tree would be kind of cool. And then there's like tabs that weld to the side. 
But nine by 16 is my constraints and I'll go to the computer and draw something up. <laughs> Funny thing about love is you never really know when it's coming. But you better believe you'll know when it's there. <laughs> True story. I must have been searching, though I wasn't looking for much. Checking out the scene. Uh, wasn't trying to get my numbers up. Uh, you know I keep it cool. I prefer to stay in the cut. Don't want no attention on me When I'm trying to shake the blues up off me But then I saw your face It caused my heart to race Girl, you're looking like a million bucks Something about the way you strike your stuff oh, Girl, you're fine as you wanna What I'm supposed to do Something told me got time to lose Go ahead and bust the move Funny thing about love when it comes and goes, you never know. So, sure. and if it wants you, uh, oh, it'll come and find you. Uh. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is going to be kind of wild to watch because there's a lot of intricacies in these parts. And there might be some issues because there's some like missing pieces of the geometry, but we shall see. Let's try, see what happens. I just stop filming or what? But there's the second one. All right, all right, all right. These things came out great. All right, all right, all right. I'll clean my, clean my table one of these days. I feel like AVE. Love that guy. Grind. Clean these things up a little bit. play nine holes of disc golf with some friends and then I come back and Hmm, tempting. So the cool part about this design, partially inspired by laziness, is the bottom shelf is actually a stressed member. Mm. So I don't have any horizontal connecting pieces going down low. So that bottom shelf, once it gets screwed in, is literally like what's holding this thing together, kind of. Interesting. <clears throat> At the bottom, keeping the right and being like that. I like that. Yeah.
What a beaut. Good, good and black. Yeah, yeah, something, something, face mask, respirator. Leave me alone. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. I had Jeannie just called me actually and I didn't tell her what I was working on, but I told her I had to go. There it is, done. You know, there's some runs here and there, but what are you gonna do? I'm very pleased. I love these tree motifs. Looks very polished, refined, you know, it looks like it's not just a base now, there's something else going on. There's like there's so, there's something to talk about. Jeannie gets to, you know, take pride and people are gonna, you know. Front and it's the first thing you see when you walk in her house, so it'll be really cool to see that. And think of Craig, man. This episode is dedicated to my uncle Craig. Love you, man. We're gonna party this weekend in your honor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you would have it no other way. No, that's how he loved breaking so sober October just for him. <laughs> cool. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, a reminder to, if you have it in your heart, to help out, donate to the, um, the CHIP Child Health Investment Partnership here in Roanoke, Virginia. Uh, anything you can donate, a dollar, a thousand dollars would mean the world. This is a organization that helps kids in need. It helps kids and families, low-income families, establish a safe family environment and prepare the kids to enter the world. Hey man, the next generation is important. And um, this is a charity that uh, is dear to my heart. So help out if you can. I'm pretty sure by the time this video is up, we just hit 20,000 subscribers, which is freaking nuts. Um, I have been absolutely terrible at replying to comments, but I do sort of glance past them while I'm doing um, business things. One of these days, I'll just be able to be a full-time YouTuber and I can just wake up and respond to comments for hours and hours. Uh, Walker looks at them too, so it's a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for the support. Um, it, it seems so minor, the subscribe button, the like button. It's such an easy, simple thing to do, yet it makes such an impact. Thanks to the lovers and thanks to the haters. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, do the thing. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Roll the beauty shots. Looking good. All dry, nice uniform finish, dig it. Let's assemble, shall we? So I'm just kind of eyeballing everything right now. I got it centered this way, and now thinking about it this way. It's obviously not a rectangle, so I think I'm just gonna eyeball it, and wherever it looks good, I, I honestly think it's there. Because there's a narrow spot in the middle here. I don't want to go much farther here. But at the same time, I don't really want to go much farther here. So, good. I think that's it. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna screw that in. Nice. Wood, man, that's why I hate working with wood. Base was flat, screw the wood to it, the wood is twisted, it makes the base twist. This is why I probably should have made the base more of a rigid structure so that the wood couldn't have its way with it. But I was in some parts lazy and in some parts being a little too naive.
Well, there we go, ladies and germs. We did it. This is uh, this special piece dedicated to Craig Hill, the one and only. The, the legend. The legend lives on. That's right. That's you can only have to live on on a piece of furniture. <laughs> I think <laughs> uh, knowing us, that's how we'll live yeah, on. Yeah, knowing his spirit, he's, he's in here somewhere. That's you know? right. He's in here kind of you know, jabbing. Well, well he's, the, he's the, the, the right angle, he's the, right the angle. precision. Okay, and I'm you're the you're this, and I'm I'm all the uneven. Stuff. He always said, "I love your daddy, but I could never work with." Oh him. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You and a bunch of other people. <laughs> anyway, we're done. Uh, here's some beauty shots. I'll get some final pictures of it installed. Thanks for watching, Walker. Thanks for editing while I'm gone. Thanks Bye. Everybody. See y'all. Alrighty. Looks good. You and I do some pretty good last minute work. We do, we, we, we work well under pressure. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Oh. <laughs>